Now let us study the mechanism involved in urine formation. Formation of urine involves four stages. Glomerular filtration, tubular reabsorption, tubular secretion, formation of hypertonic urine. Click each tab to know more. Glomerular filtration From renal artery, blood flows into glomerulus under the influence of pressure and due to the narrowness of efferent arteriole. Due to this, it undergoes pressure filtration. Glomerulus filters the waste molecules, urea, salt, glucose, amino acids and water. Blood get filtered through the kidneys about six times a day. Tubular reabsorption. The filtrate obtained from glomerulus is also termed as the primary urine. This is almost equal to blood in chemical composition except the presence of blood cells. This filtrate substance passes into PCT, proximal convoluted tubule. PCT reabsorbs the useful substances present in primary urine such as glucose, amino acids, vitamin C, potassium, calcium, sodium, chlorides and 75% of water. Tubular secretion. It secretes the waste products from blood capillaries to urinary tubule. After reabsorption of materials in PCT region, the urine travels through the loop of Henle into DCT, distal convoluted tubule. Here, some other waste products from blood are removed like urea, uric acid, extra salt, ions of potassium, sodium, chloride and hydrogen secretes from peritubular capillaries into DCT. This maintains proper concentration and pH of urine. These wastes are collected as urine and are passed into the bladder. Formation of hypertonic urine 75% of water content of nephric filtrate is reabsorbed in proximal convoluted tubule and 10% of water passes out of filtrate through osmosis in the region of loop of Henley. Further concentration takes place in the region of collecting tubes in the presence of hormone called vasopressin. This hormone gets secreted only when concentrated urine is passed out. In the absence of vasopressin hormone, only dilute urine is secreted. Hormone action maintains osmotic concentration of body fluids. Deficiency of vasopressin causes excessive, repeated and dilute urination, diabetes insipidus. Now let us discuss the remaining parts of excretory system.